Hello there, YouTube. I'm uh, removing the stereo head from my car. Um, very good reason for doing it. Let's see. I need to remove the CD first. <laughs> okay, got my CD out. Now it's time to get that head out. See, I'm removing the uh, head here because I finally got to a point where I was able financially to get myself a new car. <clears throat> Sticky little thing, isn't it? Now, last time I did this, it when that came out real nice and easy. This time it's being stubborn. Whew. And I'm just wasting tape here, trying to get this thing to move. And the reason I'm doing this because while I am getting a new car, this CD player represents something to me. It represents the first of what I consider to be my adult life purchases. <laughs> I don't mean that I was of a particular age when I bought this. More of a particular mindset. You see, back in the early 2000s, they were making a lot of these nice deals on CD players and whatnot. <clears throat> so I got this one for a fairly reasonable price. There's that. Not only did I get it for a reasonable price, I also managed an excellent lifetime warranty. So, mind you, that wasn't specifically for this head unit. Uh, that was for the one I had previous. Why I consider it one of my best, most adult decisions is because for the old head unit, when it died, because I had that lifetime guarantee, I got this one for free.
these things come nowadays. myself, huh? Looks like I'm without music in the car for hopefully only two days at the most. Should be okay. I mean, I've got my iPhone. So, there you have it. That's what the cavity looks like. Somewhere down in Little Rock, we do have the original factory stereo cassette player, but uh, something tells me they don't really want that. Anyway, that was fun. <laughs>